You know what we don't talk about enough? Preeclampsia. This is going to be two parts because preeclampsia is very complicated and it just takes a lot to talk about it. So give me a hot sec and we're just going to roll with it. Okay, part one. First off, preeclampsia is an issue with the placenta. Okay, it's a placental problem. It affects numerous parts of the body, which is where all the symptoms come from. And so, which is why it's a pregnancy problem, not a problem outside of pregnancy, except you can develop preeclampsia even after you have delivered your baby. So it's super important to follow up and get your blood pressure checked because that is the first sign, the first thing that we see when you have preeclampsia, usually. Two big things you need to know. Number one, preeclampsia is a greater than 20 weeks pregnant problem, okay? We had to put some guideline on there. Someone decided this some time ago, so here we are. So it's greater than 20 week problem. Number two, you gotta have high blood pressure to have preeclampsia. I'm not talking about HELP syndrome or any of these other things, but preeclampsia, the mild form, what used to be called mild, or just preeclampsia or the severe form, you gotta have high blood pressure. That's the first step. If you don't have high blood pressure, you don't have preeclampsia. For us here in the US, high blood pressure is the top number, or called the systolic, if that number is greater than 140, or if the bottom number is greater than 90. The blood pressure is severe if the systolic or the top number is greater than 160 or the diastolic or the bottom number is greater than 110. But here's the key thing to know that I try to explain to a lot of the ladies that I take care of is that preeclampsia is insidious. You feel fine. You're walking around, living your day, eating your ice cream, just living your best life. Sort of, because you're pregnant, so it's not really the best life, but living your life and you just don't feel anything. And you show up to an appointment and your blood pressure is something absurd. 150 over 89, 175 over 100, something crazy. And you're like, I feel fine. Here's the deal. When your blood pressure is high, believe it. Do not try to explain high blood pressure away on stuff. You walked upstairs, you were running, you were training for a marathon, you uh, uh, tripped and fell and had to get back up real fast before someone saw you, something. Like, don't blame it on these other things. Believe the high blood pressure. So I'm just gonna end there. Uh, check out for part two. There may even be a part three because there's a lot to talk about preeclampsia. So thank you guys. Just be on the lookout for more. Um, and we're gonna roll.